Today, what I'll be sharing with you is how does it actually feel like to get 41 points in the IV? Hi guys, welcome back to yet another episode of the IB Lounge YouTube series. My name is Marcus. 41 points is not the best score, definitely, but it's also a pretty good score. The average in the world is maybe about 20 plus. So 41 is pretty decent, I would say. In my school, it wasn't the best grade. Um, the average was about 40, but I was still really happy with the 41. So a bit about myself, I actually spent quite a lot of time preparing for the IB. I started studying from about May or June. I actually had about six months of proper deep studying uh, to actually prepare me for the IB. When I got 41 points, I was frankly pretty happy at that point in time at least. My parents were there too. They were as happy as I was. I was basically celebrating my so-called achievement of getting 41 points. And it seemed like at that point, I was really up there. I really had achieved something really great and it was time to celebrate. But what is it really like to get 41 points? Is it just a short-term satisfaction or is there really a long-term satisfaction involved? Granted, at that point in time, I was over the moon, I was elated. But what I'm trying to tell you here today is that that happiness doesn't really last. It probably lasts only about a day, but after that, reality hits. Of course, you have the certain um, benefit of, you know, saying it proudly to people when they ask you how you did for your IB. You definitely have that joy of speaking to juniors when they share with you about how tough the IB is and showing that you overcame it. But certainly, it doesn't really make you happy as a person. And I think this is a message that more schools need to send out to their students that getting a good grade doesn't make you a happy person. It makes you perhaps joyful in that moment, but in general, it will not lead you to happiness. But that doesn't mean that getting a good IB grade isn't important. It does open many doors in terms of university. You do get many more choices uh, in terms of which university and which course you want to go to, but it definitely does not solve many of the internal problems that students face today. And what these problems are, I'm talking about mental health issues, stress or anxiety that largely come from academics. If you think that having a good score in your IB will actually help to resolve all this, you're definitely wrong. These things aren't something that can be solved by an external factor, but rather need to be resolved internally. Just think about how insignificant exam grades are to you. Think about PSLE, think about O-levels, or if you are in international school, you might have done the IGCSE. How much of that actually matters to you now that you are in the IB? When I was an IB student, I had totally forgotten about my O-level and PSLE score. Sure, I remember the challenges that I faced, but the score doesn't really mean anything at the end of the day. So if you're putting a ton of pressure on yourself, you're not feeling very happy, and you're feeling really stressed out and anxious about preparing for the IB exams, what I'll tell you is that it doesn't help to solve your internal problems. If you're facing any internal problems, it's best to seek help, to speak to someone, and to actually try to ground yourself on what is actually really internally making you unhappy. Getting a good grade in the IB, trying your best in the IB doesn't actually help you to solve those problems. So you need to really take a day or two, or even way longer actually, to figure out these problems. At the end of the day, there's only one thing that I'd like to share with you if anything you take away from this video, which is you are the only one that can make yourself happy. No grade, no amount of money is going to make you happy. Only you can make you happy. I hope that you can understand this and I really hope that more students can start to understand this. And if you do, it will really make you a much happier person. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope that you take this advice well. I really wish you all the best for your IB. I'll see you guys in the next episode and I wish you well. Everyone stay safe and all the best for your exams.